Guys, this is the best part about baking. Mm. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. As you guys can see, I am in a different location. Welcome to Gajizo's Kitchen. So I'm sure you guys have been wondering when am I gonna do a baking video? When am I gonna do the things, you know, shake the pots and do, you know, what people do in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm going to be baking some chocolate squares and while we're baking, y'all are going to get to know me. Yes, um, I ran a poll on Instagram and I asked um, you guys to ask me questions about like what you want to know more about me. So while I'm baking, hopefully I'll be able to multitask and actually answer questions while baking. And yes, you guys are going to get to know me a little better. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that you have preheated your oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Okay guys, so I'm just going to run you through the ingredients. We have 200 grams, um, a mixture of milk chocolate and dark chocolate and 100 grams of unsalted butter. We have one cup of flour, cake wheat flour, normal flour, not self-raising flour, no, no, no. One teaspoon of um, baking powder. Three quarter cups of caster sugar. I don't want to bend it to it. Hey, caster sugar. <laughs> and one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Four large eggs. One tablespoon of coffee. One teaspoon of salt. <laughs> your baking utensil yes so i use this because it's small so preferably a square um tin if you want to make it a circle tin then definitely that's also okay i've already buttered it up as you guys can see hopefully you'll be able to see and then leftover flour to dust to put in here and dust the pan so that's the first thing that i'm going to do all right And then you dispose of the leftover flour and that's your pan ready and then once we've made our chocolate squares we're going to be making a chocolate ganache so once again dark chocolate milk chocolate it's about how many 150 grams and then one cup of cream and that's it guys literally simple ingredients in your house and yes let's get a baking <laughs> okay so the first thing that you want to do is you want to take your chocolate and butter mix and put it into the microwave so you're going to melt it rather do it in 30 second intervals until your butter and your chocolate has melted it's melting <laughs> so while that is going on hopefully the noise is not that bad um, I am going to answer the first question. So the first question is, what is your full name and what does your name mean? So my full name is Gajiso Yankees. Um, I do have a second name, but it's not on my ID. My second name is Rutendo. Gajiso means peace and Rutendo means faith. Um, Rutendo is a shorter name. 30 seconds, let's go check. The second question is, where are you from? So I am from Cape Town, but I am originally from Johannesburg. Um, what are your favorite things about yourself? So I love the fact that I'm confident and that I'm not afraid to go for the things that I want to do. Um, yeah, those are the things that I love about myself. Um, what is your best physical feature? My best physical feature is my smile. Okay guys, so I warmed mine up for about one minute. I think one minute, like 15 seconds. Um, the chocolate hasn't fully melted. So as you can see, there's still blobs of chocolate, which is okay because the mixture is warm. So you're just gonna mix it a little bit and then you're gonna leave it so that it can melt itself. Um, if those blocks don't melt, you can put it back into the microwave so that it can further melt. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flour. We're gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder. Wow. 
arrived. You're gonna add your one teaspoon of salt. take your whisk and you're gonna whisk it all up just like that see just like that together as one all right done. so now that the chocolate has melted as you guys can see it's quite smooth we've mixed our flour so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take four eggs crack them open you all know how to crack eggs I'm sure four all right, then you're gonna take your three quarter cups of caster sugar. So caster sugar is a more fine sugar. Um, it's not fine as like icing sugar, but it's in the middle. It's like in between normal sugar and icing sugar. So yeah, you might not be able to see how fine it is, but that's basically how caster sugar looks. You put it into your egg mixture, take your whisk, and you mix it all together. And that's how it will look. Hopefully you'll be able to see. I don't want to spill. Right, then you're gonna take your vanilla essence and you're gonna put one, one teaspoon. No, yes, one teaspoon. So because I like vanilla, I like to add a little bit more than one teaspoon. It's not gonna harm anybody, I mean. It's just vanilla at the end of the day. <laughs> so you're obviously gonna mix your vanilla essence in. And the next question is who inspires you and why? So the person that inspires me is my mother um, because she is a hardworking um, individual. She, she's she got so much resilience. She's just such a lover of life, you know? So she inspires me a lot. Um, what is your favorite song at the moment? So my favorite song at the moment is Chicago Freestyle by Drake. Guys, that song just... <sighs> yeah. Okay guys, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna take our flour, take your spatula, you can use a spoon for this as well. And then you're just gonna make a little wall in the flour. Right? Then you're gonna take your egg mixture and you're gonna pour it into your flour mixture. So it's always wet ingredients into dry ingredients. That's just the way I was taught. <laughs> All right. Um, who is the most important person in your life? Obviously my mom. <laughs> All right, um, the next one. What was your favorite subject in high school? My favorite subject was consumer studies. <laughs> and the lighting has just gone. Whoa, son, okay. That's so disrespectful though. But anyway, you guys can still see me because we got a ring light. So then we're just gonna take this mixture and we're gonna fold it in. I don't know how else to explain folding, but you just literally take it and fold it in and you're gonna mix the flour and the egg mixture together. So yeah, as I was saying, my favorite subject in high school was consumer studies. Um, that is why I have this chef jacket. As you can see, it says pick and pay. School's chef. Cajiso. There's my name. It's official. <laughs> but yeah, it's I got this because I entered a cooking competition in 2015. Next question is, are you more inclined to build an empire or unleash the potential of others? I am more inclined to building an empire, guys. I'm, I'm destined for greatness. I am definitely destined for greatness, um, so building an empire is what I'm going to do and I'm also probably while building that empire I will in unleash the potential of others 100%. Um, who is your best friend and how long have you guys been besties for? So my best friend is Vuya Puzi, um, we've been besties I think for about 8 years now, yeah, so from like grade 7. Because in the beginning, Vuya and I didn't actually like each other. And then, <laughs> so yeah, so we didn't actually like each other. But then eventually, obviously, we got used to each other. 
and yeah then we became best friends so she's been my best friend since grade seven so that's about what eight years now um yeah all right <laughs> i love this question who was your first friend at university so my first friend was um she was my first friend and later she became my roommate i think not even like later it was actually we met in jan and at the end of jan so mid jan and then a week later after we met she became my roommate so best of bomba that one best of bomba for life <laughs> All right, um, what is good about how you're living your life right now? That's a deep question. Y'all ask deep questions, man. <laughs> All right, um, so the thing that's good about me living my life right now is that I am going for the things that I want. Like, I have no regrets. I, I, just, I just go, you know. Um, um, I, I said so in my welcoming video that I'm just a go getter, let's do things, let's, you know. So I think that's one of the um, greatest things that I am living about my life and I'm reaching my goals. <laughs> um, tea or coffee? Definitely tea. Like, that's not even a question. Tea, obviously tea. How many languages can you speak and understand? <laughs> so this is a funny one because a lot of people think that because I always speak English, I don't actually know how to speak vernacular languages. So I am Tswana, so I can obviously speak Tswana, I can speak Sesotho, um, I can speak Zulu very fluently actually my zulu is much more better than my setswana <laughs> and then the last language no not the last two i can speak is Khosa, obviously because I, I live in cape town so i understood i understand the language and then lastly i can speak afrikaans y'all <laughs> all right guys so we've mixed the flour and the egg mixture now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the chocolate So before we add the chocolate, we're going to take our coffee, one tablespoon of coffee. Just like that. Put it into your chocolate mixture and mix it with your chocolate mixture. So if you don't have coffee, you can substitute this with cocoa powder. Um, I don't have cocoa powder, so I thought that I should substitute it with some coffee just to bring out that chocolate flavor. Okay, then we're going to take the chocolate mixture and put it into the flour and egg mixture. What was the next question? Um, what is your dream career? So my dream career is to become a baker and to obviously own like one of my own bakeries and like let's just set it further to be one of the famous bakeries in south africa i mean that's a big goal so yeah that's one of my dream careers um what are you studying i am studying bsc bachelor of science in food science and microbiology then you're going to mix that mixture in with the flour Okay, so the next question says, if you could restore a friendship or relationship, which one would it be and why? Okay, so I would restore a friendship. Um, so I recently actually lost a good friend of mine. I don't know why, but yeah. Um, if there was one friendship that I would want to restore, it would be that friendship. Um, mainly because we were really close, like, it's one of my varsity friends, one of my first varsity friends as well. We were really, really close and um, yeah, the friendship just ended. But if there's one that I would restore, it would definitely be that one. So sis, if you are watching, hit me up <laughs> and let's, let's talk, let's talk. Okay, so now that we have mixed our chocolate mix, that's how it's looking. So obviously it would be more smoother if you're mixing with an electric beater 
but because I thought that you know what not everyone actually owns an electric beater I myself only bought one this year can you believe it um, so I've always been using a whisk so I thought just use utensils that are easy to get so you can either use a spoon a whisk to mix this up obviously so we're gonna take our little pan and we're gonna pour this mixture into the pan all right guys so this is how it looks in the pan all right we're gonna put it into the oven now for 25 minutes I will check it at around 20 minutes just so that we can see um, how it's looking but obviously it's gonna be ready if you take a toothpick you put it in and the toothpick comes out clean <laughs> okay guys so at the moment our chocolate squares um, is in the oven I'm gonna continue answering questions once the timer has hit 10 minutes I'm gonna start making the chocolate ganache Alright, so the next question is Ujola Limang. I knew this question was gonna come up. I knew. You all like news, you like things. DRC. DRC. Yes. <laughs> Alright, the next question says, why did you start a YouTube channel and why natural hair specifically? Alright, so I started a YouTube channel because I was always that person taking videos of myself and I'd be like hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Kakiso Yankees you know um and I think like a lot of people their reasoning is because of that so obviously now you get afraid and you're just like mm, should I start should I take the risk should I do it and obviously because there's so many people in the youtube industry you know um but I actually started because um I had been like seeing a lot of people that had started especially now during the lockdown so i was like you know what there's space for everybody let me start you know um and also i i i'm, I'm just one of those people do it if you fail you fail it's okay you move on to the next thing you know so that is the reason why i started my youtube channel why natural hair specifically okay this one is a is a good question so i chose natural hair specifically because um I just felt like the current YouTubers that are in, like that are doing the natural hair um, thing, they all have long big afros that is popping and you know, so I just felt like I wasn't represented with my small slow growing afro, you know. Um, and I, I, I think, you know, obviously it's your own personal reasons why you start when your hair is already big, you know. Um, but I just thought, you know what, let me start my YouTube channel with my hair being short, small. I think my hair is about this long. This long. That long. Okay, no, that, yes, perfect. Just like that. Um, so I think that's how long my hair is. And I think that's obviously a perfect, so now when it's like this, it shrinks and it's about this long when it's shrunken. So um, I just thought, you know what, maybe it would be a good idea to do my YouTube channel on natural hair while my hair is still short so that my subscribers can see but it's possible it's possible so we're gonna grow this hair together we're gonna go on this journey together and just so that whoever lands up on my channel doesn't see my hair as big and then they're like ugh, then they get discouraged you know um so I, I i chose natural hair just to obviously encourage more ladies with short natural hair medium-sized natural hair to embrace it to honestly just embrace it your hair will grow you know so with my channel obviously with my hair being short and not like you know afro goals i thought that it would be a great platform for people to see that and obviously to see my hair growth and my hair journey so yeah that's why natural hair and then yes the next question hey well guys 10 minutes has passed already i was talking too long <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a pot all right and then you're gonna take your cream and you're gonna warm up your cream so you want to warm it up it must be hot but it mustn't be boiling hot because if it boils then the cream obviously just it, it's not gonna work to make the ganache so you want to make your cream boiling hot but just before it starts boiling okay, so I have the cream on the stove it's gonna warm up and then I'm gonna continue answering questions because y'all have a lot of questions. Oh my word. <laughs> so the next question is, um, 
how old are you and when's your birthday so i am 21 but um i am turning 22 on the 28th of july oh. the next question is what do you do for a living <laughs> i am a student for a living <laughs> No, I'm joking. Um, so I am a student, yes, but I do have a part-time job. So I'm currently a teaching assistant for a UFS module. So a module at my university and I attend the University of the Free State. Um, if your life could be a song or a movie, um, which one would it be? If my life could be a movie, it would definitely be High School Musical, mainly because like, you know, high school musical, we're all in this together. <laughs> and if it could be a song, it would definitely be, I'm walking on sunshine. Hey, because I'm always walking on sunshine. I'm always happy, guys. I'm always, you know. Um, so yeah, those are the two. I hope I answered your question. Okay. So the next question is, how do you deal with challenges? Okay. <laughs> Um, so depending on how challenging is the challenge, firstly I would cry because um, crying just makes me feel better, crying just makes me like get into my feels and then if I need to think then I'll obviously think while I'm crying um, and then I just like tackle it head on. Obviously depending on what the challenge is, if it is a very complicated challenge then I might ask my mom for help or my friends. Um, if it's one that I can handle myself, then I'll definitely take it head on and just go for it, you know. Um, I think challenges are a great thing in life. We have to have challenges because that is how you obviously build your character and that's how you build yourself. All right, this question, I actually like this question. Um, so it says there, how do you deal with opinionated people? So basically, people that have too much to say about your life. Let me check on those chocolate squares. I'll be back. So I'm back to answer that question. Um, <laughs> how do you deal with two opinionated people? <sighs> okay, so I used to um, always wanna know like, how do people feel? So when I do things, I would obviously seek validation from people and just be like, what do you think if I had to do this? But it's funny, cause I would do it in a scenario that wouldn't have to obviously like so the person who i was talking to wouldn't think that it's me so i would do a whole asking for a friend situation but i was asking for myself um so i always you know um seek validation about from from other people um now i just do what i want because at the end of the day they're still gonna talk whether you do it or whether you don't do it they're still gonna talk like honestly um i think Growing up, I've learned that people will always have a thing to say, people will always have something to say, people will always talk. It's just the way people are, you know? Um, so to answer your question, how do I deal with opinionated people? I don't. They will deal with themselves. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, so 20 minutes is over. I just checked now. It's not yet ready. So 25 minutes. So we're going to give it another five minutes. If those five minutes still not ready, I'm gonna give it another five minutes. So then obviously the total baking time will probably be 30 minutes, but um, I will let you know. So yeah, um, all right. <laughs> I laughed when I saw this question. So this is the second last question. Can you believe it? <sighs> well, um, so it says here, how do you keep winning all these Instagram competitions? So background story, I've been entering competitions on Instagram to win like natural hair products and everything. Like every competition that I can think of, I've entered. Um, so to answer your question, I just enter all. <laughs> enter and hope for the best, you know? So yeah. Um, and I also just think that it's my birthday month luck. So that's probably why I've been winning, but yes. <laughs> and then the last question, guys, I bought my last question. <laughs> <sighs> wow. The last question says there, um, are you an introvert or an extrovert? I don't know, but I think you guys should tell me, am I an introvert? Am I an extrovert? But to answer your question, I am an extrovert. Okay guys, so 
I've broken up the chocolate for the chocolate ganache. So I broke them up into pieces. So the smaller you break it up, the easier it is for the cream to melt the chocolate. So we're gonna get our cream. So our cream is boiling hot. I'm sure you can see the steam. And we're gonna pour it onto the chocolate. But here's the trick. You don't stir, so you're gonna wait for the chocolate to melt. And then once like majority of the chocolate has melted, then you're gonna stir. So I'm gonna wait about two minutes for the chocolate to just, you know, and the cream. And then, so this is how it looks. It's just sitting there with the cream. Okay guys, so 25 minutes has elapsed. Um, yes, so I've taken out the chocolate squares. This is how it looks. Excuse the holes, it's because I was poking it to make sure that it was ready. But yes, this is how it looks. Our chocolate ganache is ready, so I don't want a thick one. So the trick is with chocolate ganache is that if you want it thicker, you put in more chocolate. If you want it thinner, you put in more cream. So I just wanted it runny. And because the, um, the chocolate squares, is um, hot so I'm just gonna poke holes in it using my fork so I'm poking holes so that when I put the chocolate ganache it goes through into the cake all right guys so this is how it looks almost like brownies um, the chocolate ganache is on top there, so I'm just gonna let it seep through. So yeah, um, guys, thank you so so much for tuning in today. I hope you really did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. And yes, until the next video.